everyone. We are back. We're playing Velvet Reviews today. And uh, I got this DeWalt <clears throat> 20 volt brushless. All right, uh, so technically this is more of an update because I didn't get this brand new. This is my friend. He's letting me borrow it, but I got to use it. I have a, you saw, I have a bunch of other saws, uh, whatever, but I was interested in getting this like a year or two ago. And I don't know, it just didn't happen. And then I was gonna get the six and a half inch instead. So whatever. Anyway, stuff happened and I just didn't get it. So this is kind of cool. This one has like a belt hook, uh, if you see right here, um, you know, that, that I see that I like. Uh, it is a little heavy. Um, so I'm hoping that the quality is there. I mean, everything is made out of metal, you know what I mean? So, or magnesium, you know, well, I don't know, whatever all this stuff is made out of, but it's heavy as hell. He used it a couple of times already. He was cutting some wood. I don't know how many cuts that he made from what I saw. Maybe it was three times, what, maybe 30, maybe 90 cuts he did. So this blade should have some, some uh, oomph left in it, but this is really like a kind of a, a review of this. I'm seeing how it works. This is the lock right here. You push this down and then it will go up, uh, you know, and that's it. I mean, I mean, I'm not a fan of having the locks on the stuff. Uh, I'm used to a lot of the tools that I have are from like 1980 where there was no locks on stuff. Yes, people were getting their fingers cut off, but you know, hey, that's life. Uh, but, you know, I'm just saying is that I like it this way because, um, what was I talking about? I don't even remember. Oh yeah, but anyway, um, like I said, I'm not a fan of these lock things that much. I feel they're a kind of pain in the butt. This one seems more of a pain in the butt. A couple of the other ones I have, you don't even notice it's on there. But this one, you kind of have to push and then go like this and then it'll stay on. But hopefully it'll be easy. So here's the, uh, the dust port right here that, that goes. Uh, so it'll just shoot out this way or you can put this on. It gets tight as you push it on. If you pull it out a little bit, then you can spin it freely and then you push it back on to kind of lock it in because it must be like a funnel shape, obviously, to go on here. So it doesn't come with a bag. I thought it did, but it doesn't. It just comes with this. So this way you can do it just direct the flow of stuff or you can hook this up to a shop vac and then suck it out you know easier that way here's your depth adjustment right here it's very easy it, you just flip this up and then you can adjust the depth you don't need to put it all the way down if you're going to be cutting a three you know three quarter inch half inch uh they do have a recommendation you should only like have the blade i think protrude past about like an eighth of an inch and that's not just for like safety or just you know that is for better control of the tool itself and that's also it'll give you longevity out of your tool because the more depth you have of the blade and the material the more resistance it has and the more wear down it'll be just on the motor and everything in general um so when you only uh you know have a certain amount of what you need it's just the way the the saw is made to you know work at a premium level that way just letting you guys know that's how they do it so the uh the depth adjuster says it can go up to uh you know one and a half inches deep here's the button right here for the blade lock that you're gonna see you push this in and then uh, obviously you want to do that with the battery out oh, because you don't want to cut the finger right off that would suck so this locks in and then uh they have an onboard tool so here's the onboard tool that it does come with there's a little screwdriver on there uh which is kind of cool but then there's that as well and that you're gonna use for this because it's really cool. This comes with a guide, which I'm gonna use the guide over there. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna test that out. So, so you're gonna stick that in there like that with the guide, as you can see, you would be uh, you know gliding across it. You get to set the size. I think that is really cool. So I can't wait to do mine and test it over there and work that out. It's only for up to five and a half inches, it says. Um, I thought it would have been all the way to like, you know, maybe, oh no, it says 17 centimeters. It says this can go up to seven inches, 17 centimeters on this side, or you could flip it around and be able to put it on this side, depending on, you know, what are you gonna do, left, right, center. So they give you the, uh, there's a screwdriver in here for a reason, because you are able to take the handle off if you need to. Uh, certain applications, I guess, would call for that if you're in tight spaces, I don't know, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm gonna use this for having more support and control because I'm doing it outside in an open environment. So it's going to be very easy. The, the numbers that are on this guide are very hard to see. So you're not going to have it as easy. What I did is that I just lined it up. I put this to it and then tighten this by hand. This go, the tool that's on board goes in here. You tighten it up and you're done. It 
so here's where you're going to set uh, your 45 or 90 to, you know whatever you're going to do over here how you're going to cut it your angle see it can do a you could do a 45 angle on this as well but the thing is with the 45s this won't do two by twos uh, you know this won't be too uh, you know two by material it won't be do depth wise it'll only do that 90 degree so if you're out in the field and you know you want to be cutting a little bit deeper into the two by two uh, you know two inch material and you want to cut a 45 degree you're better off going with the six and a half inch can do it very easily um, and I would recommend because if you're looking at this you're looking at lightweight six and a half inch is the next one in line that's you know nice and light which I'm looking to get and I can't wait to get and then I'll do a review when I pick up one um, I don't know which one I'm going with yet but um, I want to check them out and see what's up, but uh, see this tilts, but I'm only going to obviously do mine at 90. I'm not doing anything fancy today. This is just a simple test. Nothing of the crazy bells and whistles of it. Check this out so you guys can kind of get a justification of how, you know, long it is, kind of how long it is, you know, with the battery that you can expect it to be. All right, so we see what's up. So, and then I'll hold it this way and this way. All right, so let's see how much just this weighs. I'm going to weigh it with this on, um, you know, because you are going to, I'm going to be using it. And this thing only weighs probably a couple of grams. So I'm just showing you the max. 5.2 pounds. So you can expect this uh, to weigh and see what's going on here. All right. And then with the 5 amp hour XR battery, this is the battery that I got to use it with. This is fully charged. So, all right, so that's 6.8 pounds. So we got 6.8 pounds for this. All right, this is just for comparison, just to show you. So this is the Ryobi five and a half inch old ass uh, saw that I got. So just to compare it to the weight uh, difference of the other one. So, you know what I mean? You know what the hell, if you have a little saw like this, that's a little old, whatever. And then we're at 6.8 pounds. So it, it, that weighs what? Exactly the same as the other one. Uh, so, I mean, you know, I'm just showing you. I think that one even cuts deeper for this being five and a half. But remember, this is like, this is a very, very old. Wow, so the dust port is just gonna shoot this way. It can't shoot the other way. Ah, eh, whatever. Let's test this thing out, see if it works. Button down, spin on. Remember to put it at full, full RPM before you're gonna go into the material. That's just how this, these uh, things are designed for. You might as well use them how they design them unless you're, you're designing the tool that now uh, you use it how you designed it. But if you didn't design it, use it how they made it to design it, you know, I'm just saying. Ready? really fast I mean I messed up because I didn't set the depth the right way so we're gonna set that to one inch it was really easy with this guide I actually really like that guy uh, guys I, I you know I was never used to having one of those I have to say this guide is very impressive it makes it easy you know you don't got to sit there and stare at the line you're cutting on um, you know if you're in a rush then you're not going to use it but uh, for me that was awesome especially i'm getting old my eyesight is not the same anymore you know so the next cut i'm going to do freehand uh just to see what it feels like uh you know with uh without the guide i'm going to do it without the guide and, and see how easy it is to cut I think it's pretty impressive. Uh, I know this is only three quarter inch. I'm gonna cut through a two by four in a second. All right, so the, I just have some old, this might even be treated, but it's like 20 year old treated. So it's not like it's really anything. It's not real treated wood, I guess you could say. I mean, it's so old. So uh, let's see how easy I can cut through this. You know what? I wanna try with this off. Let's just see what it does, how it shoots with this this off it probably just shoots it out like crazy right let's see oh i gotta set the depth i forgot so let's set this to you know obviously the max one and a half because this is uh two by all right so let's cut a little snaggy off here
dough very easy i mean it cut awesome i think that was great you saw the way that came out i mean it doesn't matter if you have this on or not if you don't have a bag on this it's like whatever um you know this is like using the mini ones that shoot dust everywhere so if you're looking for something that's going to be cleaner and you, you know you're not going to be using a vacuum i don't know if this is going to work for you um but yeah so but i wouldn't get it for this this is not for something i would use um you know for those kind of uh, jobs or whatever the case you know maybe i just wouldn't so i'm gonna do a new spot over here because obviously you see the mess over there. well you can't count that but you can count that mess that i made with the two by four so see that and let's see what kind of mess you know this makes let me go a little bit farther back so you guys can make out more of the mess i'm gonna put mine on like that it's probably still gonna work but there must be something that grips onto here because this is just laying in here this would have been cool if they made it like so it fits you know all different sizes but man mine's not going to fit like that but that's fine i guarantee you that's still going to work we're going to be able to see you know get the gist of it of how clean it's going to be All right, so that's with three cuts. I mean, I bit, I know obviously I noticed a big difference if you're going to be doing that times 20. That was three cuts. This was two. So you could see, obviously, you know, if you're going to be doing that, you will notice a difference, which is awesome as well. That's another kind of cool little thing that I saw about it. Just mine doesn't fit properly you, uh, with the right attachment. It would work even better or with a more powerful vacuum. All right, so I guess that'll be it uh, for the review on this. Uh, of my review on it obviously because there's no science behind this I didn't really give you any numbers of how many cuts how long this lasts so it's more of an opinionated review of it so uh, yeah so that's it for Glenn Velvet reviews on checking this thing out to seeing if it'll work for you you can see how easy it worked for me I thought that was great I thought it was awesome it, it cut they cut that really quickly uh, compared to that Ryobi that's a million years old uh, that thing would have burned out probably or it just would have heated up and stopped is what I meant it would have burned out but it would have just stopped and it uh, wouldn't have got the cut done so I think this is really cool for the money I think this is uh, under 150 bucks now that's, I think that's a hell of a deal but if you have any questions or comments please post them down below I would love to know also subscribe to my channel join me on my review adventures as I try to put up stuff to help out the community just like I get help from the community all right everybody enjoy be safe I'm out bye bye and if you get a chance, uh, be very helpful to the channel. If you can click the affiliate link below that I leave, it does help support the channel and no cost to you, which is great. If you hate me that much, totally ignore that. And you can curse about me later. Sounds fine. Uh, but if not, I uh, want to help me out. And then I can obviously, you can check my channel. I keep putting stuff on all the time that I'm trying to buy new and test out for you guys. So obviously, if I can get support, I can you know review stuff and check stuff out a lot better or installations or whatever the case may be for everybody to you know just be more efficient right everybody enjoy be safe have a good one bye bye